Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. I'm a first year engineering student at UBC and today let's talk about something that's pretty exciting which is second year placement. So right now it is reading break at UBC which means that it is already halfway through the second semester and it kind of just hit me that I should really start thinking about what I want to do next year. So in case you didn't know already, at UBC we have a foundational first year program which means that we all learn the same things and we don't decide on which program we really want to do until second year. So basically how this process works is that sometime in May after our first year we have to fill out this program preference form. So basically what this program placement form is, is that we have to rank all of the engineering programs at UBC from our top choice to our least favorite. And also we have to include an approximately 500 word personal statement about our first choice and why we would be a good candidate for that program. So as long as you get a 55% average or above, you will definitely get placed into a second year program. So the process is competitive, which means that your placement will depend on factors such as your grade average and your personal statement. And it really depends on the program because some of the programs have different placement processes, such as engineering physics, where you have to go through an interview process. So now let's talk about the programs themselves. So as of now, there are 14 different programs at UBC to choose from, so you have a lot of choices. But luckily, there are a lot of resources in and outside of class that help you prepare and learn about the disciplines. So first of all, in our APSI 100 class last term, every week we would have to watch a video about one of the engineering programs, and that same week we would have a representative from that same program present about the program, like what they learn, and what kind of jobs you can get with that kind of a degree. So pretty much every week we would learn about a new discipline, which was pretty interesting. For some more online resources that they gave us, they basically linked us to some web pages that like describe what you would study as a student in that program. I remember they also gave us this fun questionnaire. It was basically like this career quiz they would ask us some questions about ourselves like what we want to build what kind of products we want to create and they would give us some suggestions based on our answers so some of the resources that I just talked about are available only to first-year students but if you're curious about learning more each program has its own website and I find these websites really helpful as well because they have lots of information and just descriptions about the program and the disciplines also UBC holds some events where you can learn more about each program so just a while ago, there was an open house where each program had like its own lab tour or its own booth where you could really learn um, what kind of equipment they use and what they study. So I was there because I was helping out with some of the activities and it personally helped me spark some interest in some of the programs because I went on one of the lab tours for the geological engineering program and I just found the equipment so interesting and it was so cool to see everything that they got to work with. After learning more and really using these resources, it really made me ask myself, like, what kind of things do I want to design? Um, where do I want to work? Do I want to work in a lab or an office or a construction site? Um, what kind of things do I want to work with? So currently, I'm really interested in materials or chemical engineering because I'm really interested in learning more about chemistry and using it to design new materials and processes. So in the end, although it seems pretty overwhelming to choose your second year program and it's super easy to feel unsure about your top choice, um, there's so many chances in your first year to learn more about each program, so you will definitely find your place sometime along the way. So if you enjoyed this video, our channel posts videos twice a week during the school year, so make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next time.